Listen guys, I'm sorry I went MIA, but the situation got worse over the last few days. The day I last wrote to you, I saged every room in the house and went around twice just to be sure I really did a good job. I was more confident reading your guys' comments, and I also scheduled an appointment with Melissa's doctor, just to see if it could truly be possible that she had summoned the will to talk during her sleep. The soonest appointment that they had was yesterday, and that left two nights before that. On the first night, I was studying in my den, and I've been cramming in some studying when I'm not working at my internship. I was preparing myself for a late night, and I thought, if I push through just the last few pages, I could be done in about half an hour, which would make it around 2 a.m. All of a sudden, it went silent. I'm not sure if silent is the right word, but it was more like when you go to the bottom of a pool and your ears just won't pop. Like you're in a bubble underwater. That's what it was like. Then gradually the sound began to fade back in. This may not sound scary, but it was more strange to me than anything. You'd have to be there and you'd have to experience it yourself just so you know what I mean. I decided it was just my brain's way of telling me I'd been studying for far too long and just to go to bed. I got into bed and when I closed my eyes, I couldn't shake the feeling that someone was staring at me. I would open my eyes every few minutes just to be sure that there wasn't anyone there. Of course there wasn't. I finally forced myself to keep my eyes closed and eventually drifted off to sleep. I don't know at what point it was when I was woken up. I just knew that I was awakened by a loud slam. And that loud slam just happened to be the door to my room. I got up and found my way to the door with nothing but darkness, wondering who the hell woke me up in the middle of the night. I switched on the light. Nothing happened. There was no light. I twisted the door handle and it just jiggled like it was locked. At this point, I did what every rational human being would do, and just start jiggling the fucking handle, trying to open the door, flicking the light back and forth. I got over this fast and I knew it wouldn't work. This isn't funny! I shouted. And no one responded. I started banging a little harder, and the feeling of someone staring at me just came back but now I could feel the breathing on the back of my neck to accompany it. Just then, my mom came through the door as I threw myself into her, sobbing. I didn't get much sleep for the rest of the night. The next day, I had noticed that Melissa had significantly dark circles under her eyes, and I thought that maybe something was keeping her up too. I packed a bag, and I went to my grandmother's that night and I didn't come home till yesterday, just before Melissa's doctor's appointment. When I saw Melissa, I was in disbelief, to say the least. She looked exhausted, pale, like the life was sucked out of her. I was glad we were going to the doctors and hopeful that we'd get some more answers. Unfortunately, we got the opposite. They told us in basic terms that she doesn't have the motor skills to speak. She couldn't have. They also said that she just needed to get more rest. But how? She seemed out of energy, so she'd been taking so many naps. Maybe at night? When we got home, my mom looked more confused than before, too. I was nervous to spend my first night back at the house, but I decided not to let these things discourage me. I wasn't going to be scared out of my own damn house, that's for sure. My mom made dinner, and I popped in a movie after. Before I knew it, I'd fallen asleep on the couch. I always tell myself that I need to stop doing that. I tuned into what sounded like whispering. Immediately I was thinking, oh no, fuck no, not tonight, not again. Of course, so many other things ran through my mind too. I needed to check on her. I figured I could wake her up or whatever it was was already keeping her awake and that's why she was so tired. I snuck over to the room and screamed louder, bigger, more scared than I ever have before. 
Someone had been standing next to her bed, just like in my dreams, and whispering to her. As I reached for the light, they turned and I flicked it on. There was nothing. There was nothing next to her bed and no one. Now, I know I was awake. I know it. My scream woke my mom and she said that her fiance could go stay at his brother's for a while. It's just so I could sleep with her and he wouldn't have to keep sleeping on the couch. The image was just burned into my brain. Today, I woke up and went to my internship all day long. I got back about two hours ago. Mom and I tried to cleanse the house again. We also tried a couple other suggestions. I just hope I can get some sleep tonight. I'll update soon. Thank you for all the support, guys.